So, okay. Um, so, for example, C11, right, using this rule would be the sum of k equals 1 to n. In this case, n is 3 of a 1 k b k 1. Because in this case, i is 1 and j is 1, right? So i j. And if you were to write that out, that would be a 1 1 b 1 1 plus a 1 2 b 1 2 plus a 1 3 b 1 3. And we can put the numbers in there. A11 is this guy, so that's 3. B11 is 2 plus A12, which is 0, times B12, this one, which is also 0, plus A13 minus 1 times B13, which is B third column first, I'm sorry, third row first column, which is also minus 1. And this would be 6 plus 0 plus 1, which would be 7, okay? So the first value in C would go here. This is C11. It has a value of 7. Okay, likewise, we can look at C2. Let's do this, this one, which would be C12. Again, do the summation. So that's the sum k equals 1 to 3 of a 1 k b k 2. So now this is 2 because you see that's the value of j is 2. And so that'll give me a 1 1 b 1 2 a 1 2 b 2 2 plus if I squeeze in it, a 1 3b, 3, 2. Okay? And that would be um, a11 is um, 3b12 is 1, a12 is 0, b1, b22. 2, 2 is 1, and then finally a13, that's 1, 3, minus 1, b32, 3, 2, that's this, 5, and that'll equal 3 plus 0 minus 5, which is minus 2, so this value here would be minus 2, okay? So that's the rule, uh, there's an easier way to do it, so let me look, just show you visually what's going on. And this is actually, you know, a better way to remember it. Remember it. Get a good piece of paper. <clears throat> if you look at what we did here, right? Um, since you have this contraction on the uh, the summation on the second index, that implies a sum on all the columns of the second index. So this is really the first row of the matrix A. So when you see the A1K and there's a sum on K, that denotes the first row. Likewise, here's BK1. So we're summing on all the different rows, first column. So this is the first column of B, all right? Because the K is on the first index. So we're doing k equal to 1, k equal to 2, k equal to 3. All right? And then if you look at this, that's exactly what's going on here. This is the multiplication of the first row of A with the first column of B. Okay? So we take 3 times 2 plus 0 times 0 plus minus 1 times minus 1. That's exactly what we had here. Likewise, in this case, to get this one, we're going to take the first row of A and multiply it with the second column of B. 
All right, so this is the second column of B, and that's what we did here. You can go back and check that, all right? First row of A, second column of B. So in general, really, if you're looking at getting the I, J value of C, it's really going to be the uh, row I of A multiplied with, or I should say dotted with, column J of matrix B, okay? So this is like a dot product. All right? So that's the easier way to think of it, okay? And that's the way it always goes. So if you look at it graphically, to fill out these other ones, like this one, this would be the second row of A multiplied by with the, or dotted with the first column of B. So it would be this one dotted with this one. So C21 would be row 2 of A dotted with column 1 of B, right? The 2 goes with the first index and the 1 with the second index. And then this would be, first row would be, um, I'm sorry, second row of A is 2, 4, 8, dotted with uh, 2, 0, minus 1. And then this would give us 2 times 2, which is 4, 4 times 0, 0, 8 times minus 1 is a minus 8, and that ends up with minus 4. So this value here is minus 4. And then likewise this one, C2, 2, would be row 2 of A dotted with column 2 of B. And so that would give us 2, 4, 8. Second column would be 1, 1, 5. And that would be 2 times 1, which is 2. 4 times 1 is 4. And then 8 times 5 is 40. And so that would be 44, 46. 46. Okay? And that's the way the multiplication goes. Oops. Just notice that that's stuck down there. Right. So it's really not that hard. I, I recommend that you do a couple examples if you haven't seen this stuff before. It's not that hard once you get the hang of it, right? So, you know, you want to think of it as the, for each value in C, uh, the ij value of C, it's the ith row of A dotted with the j column of b. If you don't really quite even get that, you can just go back to this real basic definition and just uh, do it in this manner. But but try to try to start thinking about it in this way, okay? And absolutely essentially, you need to know at a minimum to have a matrix matrix multiplication that you have to have the correct inner dimensions so that number of columns of A has to equal the number of rows of B. Okay? Well, good luck.